and a special good morning to Drew. Uh, good morning, Megan. Good morning, Houston. And uh, good morning to uh, my lovely wife, Indra, and my sons, Ari and Aiden. Thanks for that uh, music selection today. It's great to have you here on board Space Shuttle Endeavor with us. Um, it's a beautiful day here in space, as always. The Earth looks great, and I'm glad you guys could get together to talk to us today. Hi, my name is Katie, and my question is, what is the most interesting or exciting thing you've ever seen in space? Well, hey, Katie. And um, yes, just yesterday I was outside the space station, and I could see stars, I could see the moon, but the most exciting thing I... I've seen while I was up here is planet Earth. We have such a beautiful, amazing, wonderful planet. From space, we can see all the continents, we can see rivers, we can even see cities and roads. It's really amazing. Good day, Mr. Nespoli. How are you? We know each other well by now. That's true. Thank you. I'm doing well. I have spent these almost six months in space. It's been a very intense time, very interesting. We've done many things. We've flown the colors of Italy high once again. And for me, it's been a unique experience. I've seen the planet in a way that is very difficult even to describe. Good day, Colonel Vittori. Good day. I got here about four to five days ago. I found Paolo in great shape. And most of all, I found the uh, space station in great shape. And the thing that I'd like to be able to tell you is that our contribution, our Italian contribution from the European Space Agency is fundamental. Last time I saw the space station was in 2005, which was my second mission. Since then, many things have changed. The station has more than doubled. All the modules have gone through the Italian and European industry. The cupola is particularly beautiful. Paolo has had the uh, opportunity to admire the Earth from the cupola. I did it myself for the first time in these past few days. And today I had the uh, first opportunity to fly over Italy by Sicily. And our Italy was completely free of clouds, so it was beautiful and it was breathtaking. So the Italian flag, leaving from Modena, came to Houston, flew on the shuttle on board the International Space Station, and then we'll go to Paolo and we'll come back through the uh, Russian space craft Soyuz and we'll come back to Italy. I don't know if you can hear the applause. It's a little hard to make the flag fly in the uh, absence of uh, gravity. So right now our flag is flying very high. It's a symbol of Italy and where the Italians can arrive when they want. We're a, we're a country of poets, travelers, discoverers, and we must continue to do these things. And these are the things that make us grow. But looking from above, did you also see the gondolas in the Grand Canal of Venice, or is that a little too much to ask? That's a little too much to ask, Mr. President. I have taken some photos with the zoom. That We do have zooms that are pretty strong, and I have been able to take some photos of Venice, and we can see ferries, but uh, gondolas maybe is a little too much to ask for. But it's, but it's beautiful, this, this shot that we are able to get. Uh, looking from the cupola, we're able to appreciate details like pyramids in Egypt, the Great Wall of China, Venice, all these beautiful sites like the Vesuvio, all these beautiful places in Italy and the world. But there's this general view that allows us to see this beautiful planet. For, but also, from another side, it looks fragile. 
this this really thin layer of atmosphere, which is the one thing that differentiates us from other planets like Mars and the Moon. We must be careful to what we do and how we treat our Mother Earth.